Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades. So Shayna is the newest uh, female in the game. She is a modern era technician. Uh, she has a couple links. She's got the Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler link. Take 80% less gem damage. And she has the raw link. Any color moves start with one more move point. Uh, so it looks like she's going to have a really good link. And she has Modern Era. Gems do 5% more damage. With Naya, uh, for those female-female showdowns, that could be pretty interesting, actually. She's a coach, uh, Botch Gem coach. Uh, at 9k, Botch Gems do 15% more damage. And moves that make Botch Gems create one more. That's the same coaching ability as Blue Blood Triple H, I believe. Um, so let's... I have three move sets for you guys. They're all very unique move sets. Uh, and they're all very, very strong. Um, this is how I have her strapped up for the preview. Um, two set bonus for Fury, two set bonus for Takedown, um, with a max tier 4 percentage green move metal for the Takedown set. I'm not going to switch them out, uh, so you'll see two and two the whole time. Um, basically, we're going to have 54% green gem damage and 148% move damage. Also, for all the previews, I'm going to run the two words for you skill plate. Um, so that is the, the plate that will be on for all the previews. Um, all three of her movesets are amazing. She's definitely a top tier female, no matter which class um, it is. And... Um, she's going to fit into the game really, really well. Um, let's get out here and take a look, and I'll show you guys. We're going to go against um, a five-star silver Bailey on the road the whole time. Um, so we're going to start off with the running knee. It's a 15 MP green finisher. Deal 154k damage and choose seven gems to destroy and pin the opponent. In this moveset, you won't be seeing this move, guys. Uh, you'll see it later. Um the, the back suplex, 6 MP black, deal 20k damage and choose a 4x3 area to swap into green gems. And the vertical suplex, deal 19k damage and choose 4 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gems that will deal 19k damage and modify a 2x3 random area into multiply gems of strength 5. So that's going to go out 4 times, that mod, um, random 2x3 area. Uh, for the entourage... We are going to run with Bray for four more black MP. Matt Hardy, so you can generate two strong, two times two bigger multiply gems. It'll make them um, times seven instead of times five. And then uh, Texina for green gem damage and one extra countdown gem. And Lacey for green gem damage and purple gem damage 20%. I will say, if you are playing and you don't have Matt Hardy, um, you can use Booker T, the green gem damage trainer, Tech Booker T. Um, and he will make the uh, multiply gems t 10k less damage each. Um, so still very, very strong. Basically, you'll probably hit for about 100k less using Booker T than Matt Hardy. So still a very vi viable option if you don't have Matt Hardy. Um so we're going to get these countdown gems out, and we want to put them where Bailey won't break them. Um, she'll uh, take blue, so if we stay off of the blue, we should be fine. <clears throat> the way countdown gems work, um, other than the first time here, because we're on the same turn, when you, when you swipe or the turn activates, um, you can put them out again. We're going to hold this move for next turn. So this is a turn two setup, but it's a massive turn two. So now the countdown gems are gonna go off. We are gonna get all of these random multiply gem areas out. So you can see 86K on the time seven. That would obviously be higher running double fury. I would definitely run this moveset Double Fury. I do like two words for you. Unfortunately, it didn't go off because uh, we would do more damage. So now we're going to choose a 4x3 area. And you want to choose the area that hits the most Multiply Gems. Um, so we're getting all but two here. And let's see what this one 
we're not getting three of them. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the best spot right here. We're going to get all but two. <clears throat> we're also going to pick up four extra greens. So we're just going to lay this down right here. And we're going to do a million damage on turn two. And it it's it'll recycle. But it is a two-turn cycle, but it hits super hard. Um, I'm going to run that one again without all the explaining, just because it's so fast and so strong. Um, it's really fun and not complicated at all, right? I would imagine with Double Fury, um, you would probably hit anywhere from 1.2 to 1.4. I've hit uh, 1.2 million um, running this moveset more than a few times, so I think with... Uh, uh, full Fury set, uh, 1.4 million turn 2 would be extremely doable. And the moves are so low charge at 5 and 6. You only need 5 MP to get the party started, so that's another nice benefit to this move set. Uh, the only thing I don't like is potentially if someone has a Multiply Gem Coach Trainer. Uh, multiply Down. Uh, that wouldn't be quite as fun. Uh, we'll just take the... So this is perfect. This is going to be a much bigger hit, because we can get a whole group right here. And then also pick up one extra. Um, so we're going to get 13 um, multiply times 7 out. So this is going to hit super hard. Yeah. 1.2 million. It's fast, it's straightforward, it's fun. So I really like that moveset. <clears throat> Next one is going to be the 4 star moveset. Uh, we're going to see all new moves. I'm still going to keep the 2 words for you equipped. I'm still going to keep... Um, Half Fury, half Takedown, all the same medals. Um, this one would be better with um, Glowing Phantom Phenom Plate. That's Break 3 Purple, Get 3 Green MP. Uh, so we're going to put all the new moves in. And this one's available at 4 star. That first one is available at 3 star. There's a lot of different ways you could run this trainer-wise and stuff. Okay, so we're going to have the Yoka, Yo, Yokosuka Cutter, 1 MP green, a deal 4k damage, plus 53,000 bonus damage for every botch gem. Uh, the Shoot Kick, 7 MP purple, deal 33k damage and make 5 random gems into purple gems. And the Roundhouse Kick, 5 MP purple, deal 18k damage and choose a 2 by 3 area to make into botch gems. Um... Entourage, we are going to run with Woods for four more purple MP. We're going to put Acro Brian on there. Um, so we generate a bunch of purples. You can actually, the shoot kicks will recycle itself. So you can keep doing it as long as you have pin bar, uh, which I like. You could also use Seamus for more botch gem damage. Uh, less likely to recycle since it's random. If it was a choose, I would definitely use Seamus. I think Brian will be more consistent. Obviously, Seamus will give you more top-end potential damage, but Brian will make it a lot more consistent. And um, I'm going to go with Zombie Charlotte for her 9k training ability of more purple gems on the starting board. And we're going to keep Lacey on there for uh, green and purple gem damage. Um, if you have Blue Blood Triple H, he would be the one to use. I do have him, but he's pretty rare, so not going to equip him for this. And like I said, you could use Seamus here as well. Uh, but I like Brian more for the consistency. Um, and for this one, um, at 5-star gold, I'm inclined to say Double Fury, so you can kick out if you need to. Um, it won't buff any of the botch gem damage, though. 
but you could also run a uh, double armor setup and make it harder for them to kick out, and then you take less damage, but I prefer double fury at 5 star. Um, <clears throat> so this is interesting. We have a 5 match on the board. Uh, so because that should allow me, unless we get a cascade, to hit the cutter twice, um, if I want, I'm going to go ahead and take that 5 match. You can do it differently, and potentially you can win turn 1 by draining their whole life with this moveset. Um, and I'll probably run this one twice as well. So uh, we're very likely to cause a pin unless we just get a 3 match. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the cutter again. Because um, I think it's very likely we get more than a 3 match. And, and we pin. And in this one, 2 words for you doesn't necessarily help. Uh, because we want board control. Um, so I would use Cheap Shot or the Glowing Phantom Plate. Because what we prefer is board control. And of course, I did not recycle my move, uh, which is typically rare. But that's also why I prefer Brian to Seamus, because even with four extra purples, we still didn't hit it. However, you can see Bailey is getting quite low on the health already, and this has not been an ideal um, setup at all. This should get her pretty close to danger, I would imagine. Yep, and um, the two words for you is going off for us, so let's just hit that. And we'll easily finish it next turn. You can win turn one with this build set. Um, I probably honestly should not have taken the wild card, um, but this will do it right here. So we'll run it again. You can see it's still extremely strong, but it's much stronger than I showed it there. So we'll run it one more time. And you may hear the, the kittens going crazy in the background. They have the zoomies this morning. It's kind of nice. She wins so fast and the movesets are so good that I can run a couple with each one and it's not a big deal. Um, it's still going to be a short, fast preview. Alright. So, ideally, when we put these botch gems down, want to try and keep them away from purple, sort of. I mean, that's not really realistic totally, but... Uh, as much as possible. Definitely don't want to cover our purples. So now we're going to run the shoot kick, and in a perfect world, we'll get a match and be able to put the botches down again, and but not force a pin. A five match would even be the best without forcing a pin. We did force the pin, though. Actually, I don't love any of the spots too much because there's a lot of purple on the board. And I'm going to try again to not force a pin. And it's funny because the first time we didn't hit enough and this time we seem like we're going to hit too many. That's better. That is what you want uh, because then you can put your botch gems out, hit the, um, the cutter, do a swipe and hit the cutter again. So that was pretty ideal. That's what uh, I was hoping for on turn one. And you can see this is going to hit really hard. Yeah. And we're going to do a swipe. And take our turn. We could put even more botch gems out. Um, I believe this one will hit... Uh, well over a million when we hit this at this point. And 
and then um, finish it off. So very strong move set, and that's without having the um, glowing phantom phenom plate. That would make it even better. Um, a great, great move set. This move is gonna ignore armor and stuff. So big fan of that one. And finally, her five star move set is all about move damage. I would run this one double takedown. We won't have double takedown for it. Uh, two words for you or cheap shot. Um, we'll get the move swapped in here and then we'll take a look at this one. Uh, big, big damage uh, on this one. High charge moves though. Uh, this one will definitely be beneficial in feud with a plus two MP. Uh, we'll see. I'll show you what I mean, and we'll see how it goes. You should be able to see the finisher animation, though, the running knee this time. Um, the first move set, there is no way you were going to see it. So, uh, The five-star move is the release German suplex. 20 MP green, deal 220,000 damage, and destroy five random black gems. It's very high charge, but it's also very high damage. And then we're going to run the uh, back suplex. So this is a, a turn two setup as well, because that four by three is going to cause a pin. I feel like this card is definitely designed for five star gold, and I think she'll be incredible. Um, most damage is going to be turn two, um, although the botch gem build can do turn one things and gets uh, exponentially bigger every turn. That seems like it would be the five-star gold build uh, to me. Get KO in for more green move damage. And then we're going to put Jey Uso in. For 10% more green move damage. If you have higher move damage trainers that you can use, that is what you'd want to go with. I believe green is our truth. You could also use Gooker. Pink Ivar is 10% 10 10 green and an extra destroy on green moves. He would be good as well. Um, so let's uh, take this one out and see how it works. Um, cheap shot on this one is, is my top preference. Uh, two words for you. Could be fun with the choose destroys as well. You will see it with two words for you. So. So, because it's such high charge move, you want to connect... I have, I have plus 2 MP to start, plus 1 MP in a match. So, feud, you'd get an extra MP. Um, in, with, with the plus 1, you want to get three... Attach three green gems to this to charge both moves. We have way more than that. We'll do that easily. We're going to fill both moves for next turn, no problem. And hit pretty hard this turn. 240k damage, not too shabby. Um, and next turn is going to be quite large. <clears throat> you can see this one is going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, hit for 632k damage. And we're going to destroy uh, five black gems, which will refill this one and recycle. Not that we should need it. Hopefully the two words for you will go off here. Doesn't look like it is going to. Oh, yes, it did. Perfect. Uh, so then on the finisher, we get to choose seven gems to destroy. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit froggy this morning. Um, so we can choose both of these. This one is unfortunately going to go right through here and clip the other one. So the they're in terrible spots. Um, <clears throat> we'll make a little cascade here. And... Um, then we'll just destroy some greens because they're good, um, good gem damage. So that should get us a nice little cascade. And you can see Bailey has no life left. We took all of her life on turn two. And just for consistency, let's run this one twice as well. So you guys can see it twice. All the movesets are so nice you had to see them twice. Besides, it takes more time to set up the um, set up the builds and talk about them than it does to play the matches. So, huge fan of this card. I think she's certainly top tier. Um, 
I'm not going to say that in my preview title because lately it feels like uh, we've had a ton of new good top tier cards and I don't want to get in the habit of doing that for every preview, but I do think she is absolutely a top tier female. And for me, she's the best female technician in the game uh, by a good margin. I just feel like with the three movesets um, and the versatility and how fast and fun she is, um, yes, most of it you're setting up for turn two, but they are massive turn twos and quite fast and efficient to play. And low charge to start. High, high charge moves, like this is a high charge move, no question, but it is low charge to start with the, uh, with the black. And this time we didn't get the two words for you, but we do have seven uh, to choose to destroy. And um, some decent options. We're going to take purple to get that one down. We already have the blacks recycled. Not that we're going to need it. Um, and let's just do... Actually, the greens are worth more, so let's just do the greens. Again, not that it's going to matter. Didn't quite take all of her life that time, but very close. So there you guys go. Uh, Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades. Awesome tech. Uh, really fun to play. Um, I hope I get her this weekend. Um, so good luck to all you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good feud weekend. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.